guys. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday morning, September 24th, 24th, because that's a date, 24th. Um, it's not morning anymore, actually. It's just after lunch. Um, we're out running a few errands after getting some chores done at home. We have the day off from construction at the kids' house because it's raining outside. Um, so we started off the day going to Costco, which is a discount big box retailer sort of although I don't know how discounted they are anymore but anyway it is so crowded holy cow but we got that done first now we're going to go to Staples and I need some things for my pattern binder and then we got to go pick up a tool for Bob at Harbor Freight because they broke his hammer yesterday so dude needs a new hammer I you know I don't know then I think we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon at home watching movies. I'm going to do some crocheting and, you know, the usual. I'll be back. Hey guys, happy Monday. It is Monday afternoon. It's already after lunch, let's see, 1.07 p.m. And been up for a bit. I filmed two videos for YouTube. I know, shocking, right? Um, <laughs> uh, two October commitments, and so I'm editing them right now. So we're all done and um, almost, almost in the can. Um, I did a little bit of straightening up and cleaning because this afternoon our cleaning lady is coming and you know, I don't want her to focus on my piles of shit and <laughs> have her focus on other things. So I needed to pick up after myself. Um, I'm gonna be working on my crocheting today. Right now I have it in that basket to like take it around the house, but um, that doesn't really work really well. So I'm gonna be switching it to something else later today. Um, the bags that I made work really well to take my crochet on the road or on a trip. They, they were fabu fabulous, but just in the house, I don't need it to be locked up in a bag. I just need it in sort of a something open top that I can carry it around upstairs, downstairs, put it away when company comes over, that sort of thing. So anyway, working on that. Um, it is cold outside. We actually finally turned the furnace on it. We woke up and it was like 67 degrees or a little co colder in the house. So yeah, a little chilly, but yay, I'm not complaining. All right, that's it for the minute. It's gonna be kind of a busy week. We have babysitting tomorrow. I am hoping to get all these videos edited and loaded to YouTube today um, and do some crocheting. I have a doctor's appointment Wednesday. If you've been around a while, you know, I suffer from anxiety and depression. Yes, I'm medicated and in therapy, but medical things are one of my triggers. So although I'm not anticipating anything being wrong, you just never know, right? And yeah, anyway, got to do that Wednesday morning. So anyway, all right. Everybody, it is Wednesday morning, um, September 27th, 8.46 a.m. I am obviously in the car. We are headed out to run some errands. Um, for those that don't know, I have anxiety disorder and depression. It, um, I am medicated and in counseling after almost 60 years. I finally decided to do something about it not long ago. Anyway, I'm doing much better than I used to, but one of my trigger things is medical things. And the first thing we're going to do this morning, because we're going to rip that mandate off and get it over with, is an annual visit to my GP. <laughs> um, he's a very nice man, a good doctor, but yeah, 
So we're gonna get that over with. Um, as we get older, um, male or female, as we get older, you know, it's like an old car, things start failing. So, you know, the older we get, the more I anticipate bad news and that's not always the case, but the stress is difficult to deal with of them finding something you're not aware of. I, it's just, it's a thing for me. So anyway, I know what it stems from. It stems from something in my childhood and it was pretty stressful and <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get it over with. We're gonna head over there first and I've got some crocheting with me. I, can't, I have a bag with me this morning. I don't usually carry a handbag anymore, but this morning I do um, in case there's any downtime and I have any waiting time in the waiting room. I will pull my crocheting out and do a few stitches while I'm waiting. And then that was we the last stop at Trader Joe's in Tigard, Oregon. And if you are the young lady who checked me out and asked me what I was going to do with the rest of my day, and I said, go work in the art room, which led to a conversation about YouTube in which I gave you a card and you said you want to learn to crochet, welcome and do it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, we're going to go home now because I need to have lunch. And we're done. Now I just need to like, you know, spam the medical website online chart situation for my blood work and, you know. Anyway, I'll be back. Sorry, cough drop. Anyway, we're out for a walk this evening before we have dinner. I spent the rest of the day once I got home from the doctors and errands crocheting on my current sweater project which I'll link the pattern down below. I got it from Etsy, I think. Um, I'm altering it a little bit. It's a tank top pattern, but the more I crochet it, the more alterations I think I want to make to it. So first of all, I'm making it in the round, no seams. I'm adding a little bit of ribbing to the front and back neckline. And then when I do the ribbing around the shoulder straps, again, go see the pattern and you'll see. I might have sleeves. It's supposed to be a tank top, but we'll see. First, let's get steps in. Let's see if the goats are still eating their way through the forest. Cause yeah, that's been a thing. So much poison ivy. I think it's the only effective way to get it, rid of it and the Oregon blue, uh, blackberries. Blackberries too, yeah. And the weeds. And the weeds and the, yeah, stuff. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 6.30 PM. Thursday, September 28th. It's babysitting day, so I f have been mired in doing a few chores before Junior got here and trying to get some stuff done, then babysitting all day. Like literally he slept on my chest all day long today and <laughs> um, played a little bit, ate a little bit and slept some more. He's finally through the teething, so I think now he's trying to catch up on his sleep. Uh, anyway, um, I was sitting here. Bob's gone off to his Masonic Lodge meeting. I had dinner. I made some iced coffee. I was working on my sweater. And I thought, have I filmed anything today? I don't think so. Anyway, uh, it hasn't been a super exciting day, so that's probably the other thing. You know, some days are like that. Although you're a creative being, a creative soul, it doesn't mean you can work creativity into every single day. Sometimes it doesn't happen, or sometimes it's just a little while. At the end of the day, you get to get a little bit of drawing or crochet or whatever your thing is in. And, you know, that's all right. Anyway, I am huddled up under my blanket on the sofa Nice and warm and toasty, drinking my iced coffee. I know that makes no sense, but you know, I don't know. Tomorrow is Mr.'s birthday. Yes. So before we go to bed tonight, I'm going to put his card out and uh, we'll get together with all the kids and we're going out to dinner tomorrow night to celebrate all the birthdays. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be good. All right. I'm going to keep crocheting. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I obviously haven't hidden any thread ends yet. <laughs> you can see them hanging out. I just finished adding some ribbing to the bottom, which I think it needed, and I like that. Um, it's supposed to be a tank top pattern, and for that, I think 
It's supposed to be a skip two rib pattern, but I think I would do more than that because this just kind of, it does that. I don't know. But I could probably fix that in blocking, but I'm really thinking I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put short puffy sleeves on here and use this whole sleeve opening to my advantage, reduce it down a little bit and have it come to like here with some ribbing, do a little short puffy sleeve. What do you think? Sleeve or no sleeve? I like it. All right, I'll be back. By the way, I don't have any like special bra on or anything. I have one of my normal bras. The straps kind of, oops, show in the back a little bit. I don't think you can see that, but yeah, there you go. But I mean, yeah, I don't care. All right, pretty cool. I do think it's time for bed. It's like 10 o'clock. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning, uh, afternoon. It is Friday, September 29th, Mr.'s birthday. Everybody wish Mr. Bob happy birthday. Um, I have been crocheting all day, <laughs> trying to figure out what I want to do with the sweater and I have it on. I'll turn the camera around in a minute. I think rather than just have having a strap, I think we're going to do a little cap sleeve. It's a little bit puckery in a couple places because it really needs to be blocked and washed and I have to hide all the threads, but I think this is the way to go. Hold on, we have a little bit of, I could undo this and and do some more decreases, but I think I'm gonna just leave it. It's a little bit roughly. I, I'm okay with it, and I'm once I wash it and block it, the yarn's gonna relax a bit, and it should flatten out decently well. It is cotton. I could always um, wash it in hot water before I block it, and it will shrink up just a little bit, but yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, I really like it. So now, now I've got to do the other side. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Guys, we are in the truck. Taz. Taz, yeah. Um, we did all of our morning chores, grocery shopping and stuff. I did talk him into stopping at the thrift store, but I didn't buy anything. I didn't find anything that I was looking for. And we had a local resale shop that we stopped at and I found one ball of yarn to, um, I can make some socks out of some practicing making socks and um, we had some lunch and now we are going out for a drive where exactly we don't know I have my bag at my feet I've got some crochet with me and um, we'll just we'll see what happens I have no idea we have no plan so go somewhere. We're just gonna go. It's a nice sunny day. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Nope. We do have coast with us just in case because we might head to the coast, but we don't know exactly. All right, I'll be back. Nice. If you're in a um, in Oregon and you're at a little town called McMinnville, there is a little local yarn shop called Entwined. They are on 448 Northeast 3rd Street, Suite D. I will put their website down below. They do do mail order. Um, I am working on the socks. For some reason, I don't have a three and a quarter inch. Uh, I don't know. So anyway, I got to push it. But when I walked in, I saw this. And then I saw this. And then I saw this. So I see socks in my future. Anyway, we're gonna head to the beach now. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Oregon 99 West, Northeast Adams Street. But I love so, um, supporting these local yarn shops and local suppliers rather than the website so much if we can help it. You can't always, but if we can help it, um, because number one, it keeps them in business, which is great. And sometimes the yarn brands that they have are local. Um, there is one on the coast. I'm not sure we're going to get to check out today, but it has local um, yarn. So that's interesting. But local yeah, yarn, like local sandy yarn. I it, local yarn? sheep. I don't know. Beachy yarn. Can you make yarn from sand? 
I don't know. It's local. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, check out your local yarn shops and support um, the ones if you can that I linked down below. There's two that I haven't checked out yet, but I'll, I'll put their websites down below. You guys check them out. Anyway, we're going to go drive over to the beach because we're just hanging out in the truck today. So why not? Why not? All right. We'll be back. He might need coffee, but we'll be back. Can you tell I forgot my scrunchie? Yeah. And I got a face long hair. And I've been letting my hair grow. So yeah. Oh well. So we are, it's 8.17 p.m. on Saturday, September 30th, last day of the month, celebrating Mr.'s second day second, of his birthday. Second day. Second birthday. Um, we've had a great time driving around in the new truck, and we ended up coming all the way out to the beach, and I got some great pictures. I'll put some of them here. Um, I did some shopping in McMinnville on the way. Cute, as I said, cutest little yarn shop. Um, we stopped in Seaside, Oregon. So if you're in Seaside and you're hungry, go to Angelina's. I will leave the address and their website link down below in the video description. You guys, they have the best pizza around, I'm telling you. It's good. It is good. <coughs> Delicious. The crust is made there. The Alfredo sauce is made there. They do uh, some pizzas with Alfredo sauce, which I prefer. A lot of the stuff they put on the pizza's handmade. It's like top notch. Anyway, um, we are headed back now. I've got, it's late, so I can't get any fresh coffees, but uh, so I have iced coffee because it's a little late. But we're gonna head back home to the house. It's been a fun day. It's been a fun week. And um, tomorrow, my dad's coming down to spend the night because I'm taking him to the airport again on Monday morning early um, because he is going on vacation for a month with my sister, but that's for next week's vlog. All right. Hope you all have had a great one that you continue to do that. Be creative. Live your life. Don't give Prepare a crap. to bear right after half a mile. Okay. Don't give a crap what people think. Never mind her. And um, just go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. See you next week. Bye, guys.